Hi, I'm KG Pooshpom. And welcome to Theatre Bound, a channel dedicated to all things theatre. And for this video, I'm going to explain Hamlet drunk. Why? Because a lot of people, they don't get Shakespeare, they don't totally understand it. A lot of people don't think it's easy to understand but i'm here to tell you it's so easy to understand i'm gonna tell you it drunk this has been inspired by drunk history bringing beautiful drunken facts to everyone so here we go let's have to do one thing get drunk i'll be back in a little while bye Hi, I'm back. A few beers in. Let's do this. So, for the purposes, we're gonna pretend this is a Carlsberg or Tuberg, because that comes from Denmark. I'm in Mexico, okay? Like, it's, it's difficult to find it. Just picture Carlsberg. So, Hamlet is set in Denmark. Denmark, why? Because that's where mermaids live, I think. I don't know. Aquaman! This is Hamlet. Hamlet. Hamlet is one of the longest plays by Shakespeare. And he loved long plays, but this one is the longest. So, what you need to know about this play comes in five acts, like that. So the best thing you need to know about Shakespeare is the language. Everyone loves language. The theme, which is vengeance and confusion and vengeance. There's a lot of confusion, like there's a serious amount of confusion. So, who is Hamlet. Hamlet comes from Gertrude and he comes from King Hamlet. But King Hamlet dies, then Gertrude marries Claudius, uh, but Claudius is the uncle of Hamlet. That's weird, but that's Shakespeare, so we're just gonna go with it. Anyway, they get together. Boop, boop, boop. Hamlet's like, Ugh. So weird. Mostly because Claudius and Gertrude, they get together really quickly. Then, Fortinbras, basically King Hamlet, is dead now. He kills Fortinbras. And Norway and Denmark are like, fucking hate you. So they never get along. So Prince Fortinbras is then running Norway. Yeah, Norway. He's running Norway. Go him. Doesn't matter, but it sounds like it does, but it's all on the play so I'm telling you this because you need to know everything gets real real quick in act one Horatio and two sentries called Bernardo and Marcellus they see a ghost it's the ghost of King Hamlet and they're like what why do you go tell King Hamlet well Prince Hamlet because that's King Hamlet then only until the next day then they get to tell Prince Hamlet like guess what just saw your dad King Hamlet and he's a ghost. He's like, oh my god, I can't believe this. And he was previously really sad because Claudius and Gertrude were like discussing, you know, like, oh, this is what's happening in the castle at the moment with Polynices. I and mean, Hamlet's just like, I don't care, like, my dad just died, like, everything's moving so quick. Then we find out Ophelia really fancies Hamlet. Hamlet, we don't know how he feels about Ophelia. Yeah, we're just not there. But Ophelia's like, I love him. He's my heart. Everyone else is like, Hamlet's weird. Why are you into him? Ah, oh, Ophelia, why do you always go for the weird guys? Ophelia, she's like freaking out. She's like, oh my god. Hamlet just like arrived to my house and he's like half naked, going like fucking mad. And everyone else like, it's because he's in love with you. That's what love does. It makes you want to take off your clothes and go crazy. Come on, Ophelia. Ophelia. Get with it. Embarrassing. Then Gertrude and Claudius they're greeted by two students from abroad. I can't remember where. Called Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. I'm really sorry for the pronunciation. It has failed me. And they're like, hey gang, it's us. Two random students. And Gertrude's like, Grant, you find out why Hamlet's crazy because he's driving me like up the wall. He's acting so weird. And they're like, don't worry, we have an actor's troupe with 
this because that's what you do back then. You just bring an actor's show butcher. Imagine if that was now. You have to pay them so much money. Then they also find out Prince Forrest and Braz is like, I'm gonna fight Poland, but I'm gonna go through Denmark. So get ready. And they're like, okay, fine. You can come through Denmark. It's totally cool. Don't worry about it. And then Polonius and Gertrude and Claudius are like, Hamlet's mad. So we just sort this problem out. Hamlet's like, why is cool? You're the people who are mad. I just really like talking to skulls, okay? Then Hamlet pretends he's like, oh my God, I love these students. They're so amazing. But are they spies? Are they spying on me? So that's what's going on right now. Cause he's like so suspicious about everything. Cause he's like, Claudius killed my dad. Oh, I forgot to say. Then Hamlet, she like sees the ghost. He's like, oh, oh my God. And he's like, I'm King Hamlet. Claudius fucking well did it. Go avenge me because I'm a ghost. I said so. So he's convinced the students are like here to like ploy him into something. Cause he's like, oh my God, no guys, you're my friends. I love you. So he's like, don't worry about it. And he's this great idea. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna reenact how my dad died. Apparently they poured poison in his ear. Shakespeare time, that's just how you kill people. And they poured poison in his ear. And then I'm gonna see how Claudius reacts. And if he reacts badly, that means he's guilty. Got it. Then I'm gonna move swiftly along to act three. And everyone's like, what the hell are we gonna do with Hamlet? He's actually being so weird. So Polonius and Claudius are like, okay, Ophelia, you go over there, confess your undying love to Hamlet. Nothing can go wrong. This is the important thing where Hamlet, he kind of like ignores her and he goes, take thee to another room. And they're like, yeah, he's definitely not interested. He's just mad. So then Hamlet's like, okay, this is my chance to shine. I'm gonna stage this whole thing. I'm gonna plan and the player gang was like, okay, put the poison in your ear and see how Claudius reacts. Claudius reacts and he like runs off abruptly and Hamlet's like, I fucking knew it, he's guilty. And Gertrude calls Hamlet in and she's like, it's fine, everything's fine. They're in a disagreement. Claudius is like walking around the room. He's like, oh, what's happening? But he's, well, he's not actually doing that. He's just kind of like murmuring to himself. And Hamlet's like, you're guilty. I must kill him now. And she's like, no, you can't kill him because then you're gonna end up somewhere horrible, like hell or purgatory or one of those shitty places. And he's like, no, I'm gonna kill him because that's what my ghost told me to do. Anyway, arguing for ages. And then Hamlet, like, hears a noise in the curtain and he's like, oh, bloody Claudius again. And then he, like, stabs it. And then it's Polonius. Uh, Polonius dies then. And then everyone's like, oh, well, everyone in the room. And then he like runs off Polynesia's corpse. Oh, I know, it's pretty weird. It's Shakespeare. He runs off with his corpse. And everyone's like, Aah! into act four now. Hamlet keeps joking about where he's buried Polynesia's body because he's proper fucked in the head, clearly. Then, Claudius comes up with a plan and he's like, come here, get those two students, Rosen, Kranz, and Gildenstern. Get them to England. I've got a letter attached. They're gonna execute him when he gets over there. Problem solved. Perfect. Perfect. Ophelia's gone mad, obviously. Polonius is dead. And then Laertius, he comes back from France. I forgot to say he went off to France. He's Ophelia's brother. He comes back and he's like, oh, my dad's dead. She's gone crazy. What the hell? And then Claudius comes in and he's like, don't worry, I have an idea. Then it turns out Gertrude, she drowns herself because she's gone mad. Or so we think she's gone mad. Well, she is mad. But like, we don't know if she's drowned herself because she's mad. I'm sad. Sorry, Ophelia. Goodbye. Anyway, then a plan happens. And Polony, no, not Pol he's dead. Then, who am called? Claudius. Claudius Laertes come up with a plan. He's like, okay, you're gonna duel with Hamlet. Yours is gonna be poison, so then we can just kill Hamlet. Problem solved. What was that? Act five. Find out. Hamlet like negotiates his way back by pirates. Isn't that a real surprise? He just ran off with like a fucking dead body with Polonius. 
in front of everyone. Hamlet and Horatio, they're at the graveside and just randomly they're like chatting away to grave diggers. And this is the important part. And the grave digger's like, oh, this is Auric or Horic, whatever. And he's like, from his childhood, a gesture. And he's like, oh, staring at it. Then all of a sudden the funeral comes in and Hamlet's like, oh, what's going on? And then when he realizes it's Ophelia, then he confesses all of his love for Ophelia. What? The freaking late Hamlet. Laertes and Claudius are like, seriously, man, like, are you having a laugh? They get into a fight. It's broken up all as well for now. Later on, then, they get into a duel. Hamlet gets the letter. Hamlet's like, oh, yeah, remember how we negotiate those pirates? They actually kill those two students instead of me. <laughs> Him and Laertes are like dueling, everything's going fine. But little did anyone know, Claudius has a secret plan and he's like, okay, I've got this poison, I'm gonna put it here. So then say if like the chill doesn't go well, they'll drink this poison and just die and all my problems will be solved. Jeez. They're dueling like that. And then Gertrude's like, oh, fair play, you're doing well for my son, Hamlet. And I thought you were crazy. But that's the poison. And then she starts to drink it. And then everyone starts to freak out. Liar she's like, no, I can't let the plan unfold. Mm. Keeps on slashing Hamlet. <laughs> I call him Shakespeare. And then, then Thor's get mixed up, but nobody knows that yet. Gertrude dies. I know, it's so sad. And Liar she's and Hamlet, they get their swords mixed up. Oh, what's happening? Hamlet then stabs Liar she's, and he's like, oh, I'm gonna die. Then consoles everything with Hamlet, and he's like, this is cool. Well, this is paraphrasing he's like it's cool we're grand now he dies Gertrude dies then Hamlet he kills Claudius and he's like I should probably die too he drinks the poison and says to Horatio Horatio I have to tell everyone my story one of those Facebookers tell everyone what I did he does that and Horatio's like everyone's dead then I don't know if you remember I'm not saying it right remember the Prince of Norway Ortebras he arrives he's marching through through Denmark and he's like the whole Danish family is dead he takes the crown he now rules Denmark how it'll happen because of Shakespeare that's how it happened so what do you need to know about Shakespeare just read the play as you see it academics they're gonna talk about it forever literally like like he's dead a while like they're gonna keep on talking about it so think whatever you want about this play it's actually quite good life uh, it depends good luck to you if it's a student production. I'll pray for you. Shakespeare, he loves details. He loves details and backstories, which I like that shit, but it's easy to understand. Just don't be afraid of it. And then who gives a shit? Thank you so much for watching these images and sounds. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe. I upload two videos a week, which are full of alternative theater information on alternative theater making weekly. Bye.